Joseph Wambaugh is a former Los Angeles policeman who's written several bestsellers about cops, but his most serious and personal book isn't a novel, but a factual story about a real crime. It's called The Onion Field. It's about the kidnapping of two Los Angeles cops in 1963 and the murder of one of them, and it's one of this year's most harrowing, most compelling, most frightening films. The case of The Onion Field begins when two plainclothes vice cops stop a couple of suspicious characters. Stay right there. I'll bet I know why you stopped this officer. That little U turn back there. Would you mind stepping out of the car? Sure, officer. Take his piece. He's got a gun in my back. Give him yours, Carl. Take it, damn piece! hands down. Get in the car. You, big man. Get behind the wheel. You get in the back. Good acting there by a talented cast. The guy with the gun in the cop's back at the beginning of the scene is especially good, and his name is James Woods. I'm predicting he'll get an Oscar nomination for this picture. Here he is trying to sell his version of what happened on that tragic night. As I got out of the car, I was still trying to think of some alternative. I thought of handcuffing them, but I realized there was no possibility to go back and get my girl and get a running start. I walked around the back of the car, raised my gun, and shot the officer. And Jimmy? He shot him when he was down, just about the same time I was shooting at Officer Hedinger. Now, surely Hedinger saw it that way. One thing, Greg. Would you object to talking to me from time to time to clarify details? I'd really like to t talk to you, Mr. Brooks. Uh, you've been very fair. And I do feel a certain friendship. Greg, it's part of my job. More than a policeman doing his job. You show me consideration. Did someone mention the little Lindbergh Law just prior to the shooting? Little Lindbergh Law. Uh, no, nope. can't say as I heard that. <laughs> Do you know what the Lindbergh Law is? Well, I have a general idea. What is your general idea? The kidnapping carries capital punishment. You're wrong. The Lindbergh Law applies to kidnapping for ransom with bodily harm. Up until the moment the first shot was fired, the little Lindbergh law didn't apply. James Woods, you might have recognized his face. He's done a lot of movies and television, but this is by far his best role. And the movie is an intimate portrait of two third-rate hoods, but more importantly, it's also Joe Wambaugh's indictment of the American system of criminal justice, because that case eventually became the longest-running criminal case in the history of California. And the movie traces all the continuances and frustrations as they went back and forth from one courtroom to another, I'd say, Gene, The Onion Field is one of the year's best films. Lots of agreement on this show. I'm with you, one of the year's best films, for two reasons. Its portrait of criminals is very creepy. These are not mm -hmm. glamorous gangsters. No Bogart Cagney here. These are rough, mean, 
horrible guys. That's good. Second, you know Dirty Harry, which was, uh, I think, one of the best police films of the last 10 years. It was about the cops' frustration with mm -hmm. criminals and the criminal justice system. Well, this film takes that sort of fanciful uh, attitude and makes it real and tough. Mm -hmm. We see the horrible things that happen after the crime. That's just the beginning of a crime. Right, the legal system itself is a crime in this go, film. What, this one, seven years this yeah. case took. Mm -hmm. I think one of the reasons for that might be that Wambau made the movie himself. He's written a lot of books, as we know. Two of his books were made into movies earlier, The New Centurions and The Choir Boys. He hated both films. And he said, he made a public statement, no more of my books are going to be made into movies unless I do the movie myself and I do it the way I think it should be done. As a cop, he didn't want an artificial climax, the murder of a cop. He wanted to show the consequences of a death, of a murder, mm -hmm. the law, uh, stretching through the law courts for years on end. And I think he succeeded. I think he made good on his promise. It's a strong film. As you said, one of the year's best. Both Gene and I really admire the R-rated The Onion Field, the Los Angeles crime drama based on the book by Joseph Wambaugh, and that's why there's a yes next to both of our names. We both think it's one of the year's best movies.